All right, you guys, you got to help me out here. This bandit is super tricky. It's not in here. It's not in there. Not here. No floorboard compartment, so definitely not in here. Wait a minute, no way. What is going on, Bandads? We are finally back with a brand new episode where we get to check out how the air suspension is set up on my 2015 Toyota Sienna. As you just saw, I've got it set up in a super tricky spot, but let me show you guys where I put it and all the details on the setup starting right now. We gotta first break down what exactly is it that makes up this kit. So let's start with the suspension. As far as the suspension goes, I am running a full air runner setup. Air Runner is a great high quality brand that's made in Japan. One of the things that I didn't want to do was cheap out and get some lower grade suspension set up because this was going to be something that I was going to dry it on every day and with my family and kids. So I wanted to be super safe, super careful. So go with the highest quality stuff when it comes to building your van. I'll be sure to put links down in the description for where I got everything, the setup. So don't you worry. Starting with the front, the fronts are going to be bellowed struts with 40 way dampening control. Control. And for the rear, you have two bellowed bags and two extra struts. This is going to complete the system when it comes to the suspension side of things. The cool thing about this is that it's a full bolt-on system, so you don't have to make any custom brackets or anything like that. It goes in where it's supposed to, and you're good to go. You do have to make a small modification where the rear bellowed bag sits, but nothing too crazy and something that can be done in a cinch. And now we move on to the management system. With the management system, I went with an airlift three-piece setup. This setup includes the manifold, the controller, the wiring harness, and everything in between. So for the controller, I actually put it right here. Here it is, guys. Here's that controller stand. Since we're here, let's go through the settings for the van. Right now, I've got it on a high setting of 105 front, 80 back, as you can see here. Next, we've got the cruise setting set at 84 front and 62 back, which I can show here. And finally, we've got the very low setting. So this is when you're going to want to hard park the van or maybe you're going to go into the grocery store and things like that. And that's going to be 25 front, 40 rear. And in this case, my compressor is set to kick on at around 100 PSI. So once this reaches 100 PSI or below, compressor will kick on and then load it back up. And I've got these settings dialed in exactly to where you have a good height in the front, a good comfortable ride setting for the cruise setting. And then for the low, I put it at a spot where you're not gonna destroy your fenders or your tires or your wheel. So these are gonna be the three settings that I've perfected my setup for. Your settings might be different. Okay, so now we are going to sneak our way to the back and let me show you where the manifold is. All right, here we are. And for the manifold, I actually put it in this location right here on the left. And as you recall, there was nothing in this trunk and the reason behind that is I wanted to maximize my space and make sure I can fold all the seats down and carry all the things that I need to for the kids extracurricular activity. So with that said, you're probably interested to know, okay, so where did he put that? So let's go take a look. As you saw earlier, this is the part where I get to show you guys where my tank and compressor setup is. So I'm gonna have to use all my dad bod muscles I've got left over, jack the thing up, and let me show you guys what's underneath. A few moments later. All right, we've got this thing jacked up. Always remember to use a jack stand. Safety first, okay guys? So here we go, underneath. We are now officially traveling into the underworld of the van culture life. But seriously, this is where I've put my tank and compressor setup. What we've done is you have to sacrifice your spare tire that's right your spare tire is actually what goes there now as long as i've owned this van which has been two years now i haven't had to use a spare tire knock on wood but as you can see that right there is a four gallon seamless aluminum tank with bracket there are two flat pieces of metal that are welded onto the body of the car and those flat pieces is what connects this round loop to hold the tank in place you've got the valve right here never had any issues with hitting this or anything like that and for the compressor it is a 444 cc v air setup just one compressor good thing about the compressor is it's also on a fancy little bracket here and we welded it onto the body of the car and the extra little trick here guys you see this piece of wood this piece of wood dampens a lot of the sound and vibration that you hear from the compressor when it's going off all the electrical work is also down here too. run 
to the compressor, run to the manifold and everything like that. And then all the lines for each and every single bag is going to be run to each individual unit as well. I am proof that you can put your compressor and tank outside. It's been like this for almost two years now and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever in Houston, Texas. Don't be fooled by people that say, oh, you can't put it outside. This has been outside driving every day without any issues. And there you have it. That was my creative way for setting up my airbag suspension on my van. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my setup. Are there any other creative ways that you guys have done setups in the past that we can share with the community? Let us know down in the comment section below so we can all talk about it. And if you're looking for more videos in regards to the Sienna or maybe my 2010 Honda Odyssey, you can check out those videos in the next slide. I will see you in that video or my next video.